topic. So we've talked about Bayes' theorem and we talked about that. And so we'll look at counting. So the basic problem that counting is trying to ask or is addressing is how many ways can one select k items out of n. So that is the question. So the question was answered as we saw by by some scenarios that we consider and the four scenarios were these we said we asked the question whether whether the ordering matters this says unordered and this says order matters actually I'm gonna switch them because I think that's how let's see control X and I'm gonna move that So that's ordered and unordered. So we'll go back. And this one says with reuse and no reuse. So in other words, the first one is asking the question, how many ways can you pick k items out of n if the order in which you arrange them matters. So this here is an arrangement of the K items. So one way to think of this as is to think of this as coloring and I'll explain why. So you have you have to basically color K so you have K boxes so K boxes if you will so that's one box two three all the way up to K boxes and you have N colors that you can use to color them so the thing is you can reuse the colors so if let's say there are the n colors were also numbered and let's let's keep it uh, let's take something simple we said let's say there were red green and blue were three colors and i had two boxes i had to color then the way i can do that is i can go red and repeat the red so red red or i could do red green I can do red blue and then I can do green 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 red or green blue and then I can do a blue 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 red or a blue green in other words the any color I pick here can be reused so the number of ways we said that we can do this is n to the power of k and that should be pretty clear because the first position can be filled by any of the n colors the second position can also be filled by any of the n colors the third position can be filled by n colors and the kth position can also be filled by n colors so that's k such n so that's n to the power of k now the second scenario which is ordered says that I can 
the ordering matters that is so notice that when we when we do our our arrangement here the order did matter so for example this guy here who is a red green and a green red are counted as two different different selections because they do not have the same order so ordering did matter so what we're saying is now we still want to count these as two separate things but this would not be valid this would not be valid and this would not be valid because we cannot reuse a color once we used it so that's what it's saying the order matters but you cannot reuse so now if I go back to my K boxes I have one two three K boxes we're saying that anytime I use a color here let's say I used I have n choices I will have one less choice in the second place so that's n minus one I'll have two less choices here because I've used them up here and so on all the way up to by the time I get to the k box I would have used up k minus one choices so that's n minus k minus one which is n minus k plus one so this product then is n times n minus one times n minus two times all the way up to n minus k plus one which can also be written as n times n minus one times all the way up to n up to all the way down to rather one divided by so notice that the next term after this if I had continued all the way to one the next term after this would have been n minus k because that would be the next term and so on so if I divide this by n minus k times n minus k minus 1 all the way up to 1 which are the extra terms I added this would be equal to that but this is given as n factorial by definition of the factorial by n minus k factorial which is also called n permute k so this is n factorial by n minus k factorial which is permutations now the next scenario which is this one let's go along this axis so now this one says that not only can you not uh, not only is reuse not allowed but we are also not allowing the possibility of these two being counted as two different ones that is R, G and G, R so these two, two should just count as one and similarly these two R, B and B, R has to count as one and G, B and B, G has to count as one so that gives me a total of three combinations so we call these combinations in which the ordering does not matter so it's unordered and uh, the way I like to think of this is uh, is to think of the fact that I'm gonna put these the choice I make I'm gonna put the put these uh, boxes into a uh, into a container and once I drop them in the container I have no idea uh, there's no way to tell whether whether the choice came from choosing RG or GR so it doesn't matter so these are combinations now what we said uh, what we saw in class is this is given by n factorial by n minus k factorial times k factorial and we asked ourselves what, what is where is this k factorial
factorial coming from and what we realize is the answer to that question was that the if we if we continue from the permutations we realize that the k items the k positions that we have they can be they can be arranged among themselves in k factorial ways for example the two items the two positions that we have they can be arranged in two factorial ways so the redundancy is two factorial so the k factorial is the redundancy which i divide by to eliminate my total possibility so in for example in this the example we're going by this is uh, 3 to the power of 2 which is 9 this is 3 choose 3 permute 2 which is this is just 3 factorial by so that's 3 factorial by 1 factorial which happens to be 6 because that's how many we counted as permutations and n the number of combinations which is the notation being n choose k is the 6 which we already had divided by 2 because every for every combination every arrangement there is actually a duplicate arrangement and there's exactly one duplicate arrangement because it's an arrangement of two if this were an arrangement of three things then i would have three factorial duplicates and so that will be divided by 2 which is equal to 3 and the three possibilities are given to me as r g g g b and b r so those are my three possibilities now the last one was the unordered case and the unordered case was um was basically i um let's just call this n choose k n permute k and we said that the unordered case with reuse so that is if i had the ch chance to reuse then this is going to be n plus k minus 1 choose k so i'm still choosing k my k items but but i no longer have just n to choose from i have n plus k minus 1 and the and the reason the reasoning was that if i can reuse an a, a particular choice if I, if i make a choice and i can reuse a choice in the remaining k minus 1 positions then i have potentially not n items to choose from but i have n plus k minus 1 items to choose from and so that is the n kind of is not just n because i can re reuse a choice any choice k minus 1 times because i can reuse it in all the remaining positions of which there are k minus 1 so that's our counting counting topic so that eliminates my counting topic right so i'm going to stop here and we will because the video is getting too long and i will put the rest of them in a different video